Because even if we can change human beings, in what direction do we change them? Do we want to change them this way or that way? This is an example of the way in which technological advance impinges on sociological necessity. And I talk about this matter as humanity 2.0, because in a sense this is kind of where we're heading to some kind of new, new normal, as it were, of what it is to be a human being. At the moment, I really don't see enough attention being paid to this, so we need to take this future prospect seriously now. We are headed into an era of advancing technology, but not advancing humanity. What we need to ask ourselves is, where does my individual ability to control my life or to influence the political process lie in relation to these new forms of technology? I can see you know, hundreds of millions of workers being put out of jobs. That's almost certain it's going to happen. It is not just about you know, automation where we expect it, which is in factories and among blue-collar workers and so forth. It is coming quite aggressively for people at much higher skill levels. Any kind of job could, in theory, be replaced by technology if you build human-level AI. Now, that, of course, may or may not be a good thing. It is true that a lot of these jobs will soon be redundant, and uh, my response is good. Being unemployed is not a positive thing in itself. There has to be some kind of transition point to some other form of life after that. When we talk about the future of work and death, what we're really talking about is changing a paradigm that has existed for us as long as we can remember. When people get the hang of the idea that aging is a medical problem and that everybody's got it, it's not going to be the way it is today. The way the human species operates is that we're really never fully ready for anything. However, the prospect of living indefinitely is, uh, is too promising to turn down or to slow down or to just not go after at full speed. It will take us hundreds of years to achieve any form of, of longevity that's even vaguely like immortality, doing it biologically. Doing it using IT, we can do it by 2050. I think that someday you can upload your current neural network, but that's not you. That's just your current neural map, right? We live in a culture of death. We need to overturn that culture of death into a culture of indefinite life and having the choice to live and die. Work has gotten in our way. If we can automate the basic necessities of our lives, in the near future, we're going to have to start facing those questions. What do we do with our lives if we live to be 500 years old? Must we do something just because we're capable of doing something? This is something that the human species must decide for itself. You and I, we can't just leave it to the scientists. We have to know what's going on and why. Available now on Video On Demand.